Assalamualaikum. This is Moiz Ali Akhtar, registration number 047. Today I am going to tell you about my topic and that is that is the Shimla Conference of 1945. So the question that now arises here is that what was the purpose of the conference? Basically after the World War II when Lord Will became the president of India to avoid the separation and to form a combined government of Congress and the Muslim League at center. A meeting was held in which all the political parties of the subcontinent were invited. So on June 1945, the meeting between the Viceroy of India, Lord Bevel, and the major political leaders of British India was held, in which Mahatma Gandhi and Jinnah were also invited. In the first session of the meeting, Lord Bevel introduced a plan. In the plan, it was stated that that the council would have balanced representation of Indians all cost. In this plan, the Muslims were given 6 out of 14 seats, which were merely about 25% of their population. In this plan, it was stated that the Basrai would have the only veto power. <coughs> A combined list of the all Indian political members would be presented that were to be the part of the council. In the case, <coughs> if the joint list was not agreed upon, then the individual list would be presented and this was to be the Shimla conference. In the conference, Muhammad Ali Jinnah represented Muslim League and Mulana Abdul Kalam Azad represented Congress. The conference was held due to the following reasons. The most important and the major issue was that the Muslim League and the Congress could not settle down their differences. Jinnah insisted that Muslim members would be the only representative of the Muslim League. As Muslims were 6 out of 14, but the Muslim League also demanded for the veto power. And once again, the Congress refused and opposed this demand. Jinnah refused to give the names to the council because he believed that the league was the only representative of the Muslims as Congress present the name of Mulana Abdul Kalam Azad as their representative. As a result, the Weaver Plan and Shimla Conference was totally failed and this was a step ahead to the Indians' independence struggle because all the steps taken for the United India and to can for the cancellation of partition were failed.